Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. And we got some breaking news the day before college football starts. As Anthony Evans commits to Oklahoma and the Sooners continue to absolutely dominate the 2022, 2023, excuse me, high school recruiting class. Guys, before we get into it, just wanted to say thank you for all the support you guys have shown the channel on the road this weekend, but the content talking ball doesn't stop. We don't have the mic. We don't really have the setup that we normally do, but I do just want to say thank you to all you Sooner fans. You guys have been absolutely awesome with the support. We appreciate it. So if you do like the content, consider subscribing to the channel. We got our OU game one preview coming out on Monday. So stay tuned for that. Let's talk a little bit about Anthony Evans, the player, what it means for the program. And what I want to start doing is just pull up his highlights what you have to know about this guy is he's got that track speed. He has the track background. He has a sub-1100 meter, and you see it right away. When you, when you turn on the film, pretty much the strategy is we're going to drop back. We're going to let Anthony Evans run past every defender, and he's going to make he's gonna make play for us. Throw a touchdown. You're going to see it on the next play, too. Pretty much, again, same thing. Anthony Evans, you're the fastest player on the football field. You're going to run a straight go route, run by everybody and go make it happen in the end zone. The next play, though, is the, the play that I kind of want to talk about a little bit more because it's one thing to have the speed, and it's another thing to kind of have those ball skills and, and those tracking skills that really kind of separates you as an elite kind of guy. And right here, this is not an easy ball to track. He's going to have to go up over a defender, and he makes it happen. Again, this guy isn't the most physically imposing guy. Only around, what, 167 pounds if you go bring it back to his 24-7 his profile. You know he's going to fill it out. OU has one of the best strength and conditioning coaches in the country. He's probably going to play around 180, 185 pounds, maybe get up to six foot. But again, you can't teach speed, and this guy has it. Taking a look at what they're doing in this 2023 class, and it just continues to get better and better. They've brought in a total of – this is their 22nd commit in the 2023 class. And again, it all starts with Jackson Arlo. When you can get a quarterback who is – a top 15 guy like Jackson Arnold is and really only rising. They're pulling a lot of talent from the state of Texas. Wide receivers like a guy like Jaquez Petaway, like Anthony Evans, they're going to want to go play for the Sooners. You look at what this offense looks to be in 2022 with a guy like Jeff Levy, Dylan Gabriel, these OU wide receivers, the, the, the talent, these high school talented guys are going to want to go play for the Sooners. And you add on a coach like Brent Venables who just lives and breathes the sport. There's, it'll be hard to find a more passionate coach that cares more about the program of Oklahoma football and just football in general than Brent Venables. And I think these high school kids are gravitating towards that. It's no, it's no coincidence that Brent Venables in his first year as a full-time head coach is dominating recruiting. These kids want to go play for Brent Venables. There aren't better fans in the country than in Norman, Oklahoma. And we're seeing Oklahoma just really continue to get the best athletes Again, Anthony Evans, another really good get that you really can't teach the speed that he has and that he's going to bring to the table in a, a program that likes to get their players out in space. You want to have these fast guys. Again, we appreciate all the support. Wanted to keep it short for you guys on a Friday afternoon. Appreciate it. If you guys do enjoy the content, again, consider subscribing to the channel. We appreciate y'all, and we'll talk to y'all later.